As a bromine molecule gets close to benzene, the high electron density in the ring of delocalized electrons repels the electrons in the bromine molecule and the electrons are forced to move, and this creates a small polarity. As the electrons in the ring in benzene are spread out, they are unable to polarize the bromine molecule sufficiently to generate an electrophile. To pull the electron density even more towards the partially negative bromine, a halogen carrier is used. A halogen carrier basically just means a metal, usually iron or aluminium, that is bonded to atoms of the halogen in question in this case bromine. Iron tribromide will be used for this example, although it could also be aluminium tribromide. A lone pair of electrons and the partially negative bromine in the reactant molecule get attracted to the metal in the halogen carrier and tries to form a coordinate bond. It's a coordinate bond as both electrons are coming from one atom, the bromine. This means the bromine atom has lost some of its electron density. To try and get some back from somewhere, it pulls the electrons in the bromine-bromine bond towards itself even more, creating a much larger polarity and significantly weakening the bond. The partially positive bromine atom is now sufficiently electron deficient to act as an electrophile and is able to react to benzene. 